I finally got around to uh, sort of finishing up the uh, the IF can project. Uh, I have it adjusted in the metal case. It's a matter of putting two two um, L brackets on, and then uh, a top a top plate with holes in it to adjust the uh, the tuning capacitors. But I did finish it, and I have my trusty dusty signal generator. And let's see if we can get my scope in the picture here. Okay, I'm going to adjust it back and forth. And you'll see it peak up. Okay? There it is. It peaks at 455. Okay? And uh, I, the reason I built this was, uh, you know, I told you when I was a kid, I used to take IF cans apart all the time. And... Uh, they're pretty, they're pretty interesting inside how they're made. They all basically work the same. Um, the transistor ones, the little miniature ones, they only have one tune side. And that's so they can have a low impedance output to go to like the base of a transistor. Okay, but here it is. And these are one mil Henry chokes. They're close to each other because this is the first IF. Okay, and as you go through first, second, and third, these two coils would be further apart from each other. And uh, this is a 100 picofarad, which goes across this coil. And then the other one goes across the other coil. And then on top, you have your two adjustables, which are, I think they're 60s or 50s. Okay. And uh, to, to make that uh, a one mil Henry choke uh, resonate, you need 121 picofarad, something like that. But... There it is. Okay, I wanted to make something a little better than what other people have put on the internet. Just to show you, you could actually really build a really nice radio almost from scratch. Let's face it, you're not going to make these little trim caps. Uh, you probably could fabricate something. And then the, the, the capacitors, you know, where do you draw the line when you, when you build something from scratch? I've always had a problem with that. Uh, some people... Uh, I had a guy one time, um, I built a, a fax machine from scratch for receiving faxes over the over the air from shortwave, uh, actually a cruise ship, and then there were weather maps. And I met a guy at the shortwave store, and he told me he was building one from scratch, but he basically was buying a fax receiver and a fax machine made for that receiver and hooking the wires up. When I actually talked to him longer, I'm like, that's not building something from scratch, but in his world, it it was different than buying a fax machine with a built-in receiver, and they install it. That's turnkey. That's what his argument was. Well, scratch is, in his world was just hooking up some cables, and I was like, whoa. And I, I did bring my fax machine into the shortwave store and run it and pick up a, a weather station, uh, a weather map from Virginia, and... Uh, with mine it was a spinning drum i still got it and uh I, sh I guess i should do a video with it but anyway i did ha i did have a video for it's one of the 700 i deleted and uh, i figured out what actually happened uh without notifying me youtube started putting commercials in my videos they didn't monetize me they gave me nothing but yet they put the videos in uh, commercials in and it done that to other people. I didn't know what was going on. All I know is <coughs> I started getting nasty emails from people saying, all right, your, your videos aren't worth having commercials in them. And all these, I'm like, what, what the hell is he? What are these people? Doing? Well, good old YouTube. And then uh, lately YouTube uh, wants a lot of short videos instead of long ones because they want to... Uh, uh, compete with TikTok. What they want to do is they want to make you watch a commercial before and after and after each video. Okay, that's the game. Videos longer, it's going to be one before, one in the middle, and one after. It's all about money. But they totally freaked me out. I mean, I was waking up in the morning, and I'm getting all these um, emails and stuff from jealous people because I had enough videos to actually monetize and I had enough followers. But I wasn't going that route. And then I'm like, you know what? I don't need this. So I deleted them. And now I'm doing the videos a little bit different. Uh, they can't complain about the uh, the microphone now. I solved that problem. And then, the, and then the people that say I mumble, okay, fine. I mumble. And I misspeak because I'm 70 years old. They're almost 70. 
and uh, you, you try doing a video. What I do is uh, I, I always click on to see what the guy's videos are. They don't have any videos. It's very easy to pick on someone having not done what they've done. Okay. Uh, you know, like that's why I don't like really like sports because I used to be at a person's house and they would be screaming at the guy stinks and they got that, that person never played sports. Okay. So that's, that's my problem with a lot of things. And the other thing with sports is uh, I don't want to watch a, a guy playing a, a, a game who makes $25 million a year and root him on. He should be over here rooting me on. Okay. That's how I feel about uh, watching sports. Once in a while, I'll put the baseball game on. This year, uh, or with, maybe last year with COVID or whatever, maybe it was this year, they had a, an advertisement on the plate. And it, and I didn't understand that. And they, they gave the, them an extra place to advertise. And I really dislike when the uniforms have uh, different names of companies on it. And then the other thing too is uh, I used to watch um, racing and they have the, the, the advertisement backwards on the day on the, on, they have it on the dash, but they have it everywhere in the car. So when the, when they show the inside of the car with the driver scene, you got all these ads, it's gotten out of hand. Okay. And that's why it just annoys me. So I don't watch it, but I just wanted to show you, uh, I did my IF can based on ones I took apart over the years. And I've seen other people's, uh, you know, whining, they wind um, enamel wire and they just stick it a certain distance. It, it should be adjustable depending on which IF can you're replacing. But I wanted in my mind to have a, um, a replacement just in case I need it. But like the transistor ones, those little silver cans, only one side is tuned. The output is just a few turns. And that's because it goes to the base of a transistor. And if you had it tuned, it wouldn't really tune right because the impedance of the base of a transistor is too low. Okay. But I did finish the project. You know, like I said, it started out with what could I fit in this piece of aluminum tubing? And I've seen IF cans before. Oh, in one of my videos, I showed you the inside of a command radio. IF can and it's very similar to this. Okay, basically the same idea. I think that's it. All right, that's it.